Welcome to the video. Hi, I'm Sarah, Creative Sarah. If you're new, type add me in the comments. If you haven't become a member yet, type club. And if you're curious about becoming a designer, type team in the comments. Remember, you can shop online at creativesarah.com. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Friday, everybody. Um, I have a surprise. Surprise! It's a crazy day. Um, I want to explain what I mean by crazy day. Number one, I, I, I just ordered a new camera um, because my one like super old iPhone 6 that I was using for a camera is not dependable. I couldn't get it to work. I've been trying for a good 20 minutes. Still, I can't get it to like it's going really like it's weird. It's weird. Um, so I just ordered a new one. I'm using my cell phone. Oh, I should turn it on silent. That reminds me. Yeah, you want to see all my boxes? I think it's on silent now. Hopefully. Um, and don't you love how some days, no matter how hard you try, try to stay on task and like get everything accomplished, things just keep popping up that are out of your control? That's how today has been. Now, I have actually gotten quite a few things done, but then it's like 70 people lined up and shot me with snowballs, and I'm... Pshht. I decided I'm going to go live with my wine. It is Wine Friday, you guys. There's your warning. It is Wine Friday. I am who I am, and we are drinking today. I don't have a project for you, but what I have is my box of new stuff. And so I have a delicious Moscato. It is, it's called Mademoiselle Moscato. And my friend brought it for me. Well, she brought it for us and we never drank it. So I'm drinking it now. Thank you, Amy. Um, and just so you know, it is light and um clean clear like a very crisp clear flavor not too sweet do you know what it pairs well with are you ready for this chicken and waffles chicken and waffles chips now i don't know like i don't really want to eat in front of you but we took a trip to sam's club and I was like, chicken and waffles? I thought it was the flavor. And as I'm reading it, it says it's literally made from chicken breasts. <laughs> Crispy chips made from 100% natural. Where are my comments? I'm going to get to you, I promise. 100% natural chicken breast and tapioca starch. 10 grams of protein. And 160 calories. <laughs> Two sugars. They taste like chicken and My husband's like, you better eat those. Because I always buy these things that I want to try. And then I'll have one. I'll be like, mm, it's all right. I'm sorry if you can hear me crunching. But it really does taste. I do not hate them. I think they're good. Pairs well with my Moscato. Okay. Sorry. Eating on camera is not a good thing. Hi, Margaret Miller. Hello, Tony. And Tina, hello. Hi, Anne-Marie and Kathy. Good afternoon, Denise. Woohoo! That is exciting news. Joining our team in April. Very, very exciting. April is a great time. Because in the beginning of July, we have our Chalk Con, which is our Chalk Couture Convention. And it is a good time. Um, and you'll get in right at the buzzer if you're interested in going to that event. It, I would highly recommend it. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Lori. It's Wine Friday. Hi, Charlotte. Oh, Nancy, when you get home, get yourself a glass of wine. Hi, Carol. 
how do you chalk on cups like this one? So what you're going to do is you're not going to chalk on it. You're going to ink on it. And after you ink it, you're going to dry it and you're going to put it in your oven. Of course, you are not going to have the plastic lid on it, but this is metal. You're going to put it in your oven at 300 degrees for 40 minutes and you're gonna let it cool down in the oven. You're gonna turn your oven off and let it cool down. When it's completely cool, you're gonna take it out and it's completely dishwasher friendly, all the things. I have way too many of them. They don't fit in my cupboards. Hello, McMillan Walker. That is a name. Hi, Lisa and Patricia. And Anna, what doesn't pair with Moscato? You got it right there. Everything does. Hi, Terry. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Danielle. Okay, it's Wine Friday. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I have my giant box of new stuff. And I'm going to show you, I showed you the really cute bloom kit. This one up here. And... um. I have all the other kits and the transfers and the adorable bird cutouts with, maybe I'll open these and show you. You guys, we have these new slim cut pieces. Now, um, this comes with some adhesive um, squares because these little baby wings see how slim they are compared to the thing you can put your little baby baby bird wings on your birds and they are a slim piece so how cute is that we have introduced a few new slim cuts that go along with our cutouts so our birds and and Hold on, where did they go? And our new three pack of house cutouts. I better just show you these too, cause I know I'm gonna be using them. Snowy Joey on in Wisconsin, it's snowy here too. We had a snow day today. My kids are off school, very icy and snowy, but it's the sun is shining and it stopped snowing. So it's actually a very nice day. Oh my goodness. Done that with glass and paint. Oh, Sandra, awesome. Oh, Carol, perfect for your Mexico trip. We are getting cups done for our Mexico trip as well. Hi, Cheryl, happy Friday. Hi, Don Harper. Just got my first order from the new catalog today. Woohoo! yeah. Hi, Bernadette. Hi, Kathy. On a dowel. Oh, Kathy, you are so right. You could easily... You could either like drill in and put a doll or you could hot glue it to something. All right, so cool thing with these new house cutouts. There are three different sizes. Third little chubby one. So there's three different sizes and we have, I only have two hands. We've got like a door, a door slim cut for each one. I guess you could make it a window too, but they're just so cute. So, and they're the dark wood color. So I think that's awesome. Guys, we can chalk till our heart's content with all of these fun cutouts. Okay. I have to carefully put them away now because I haven't used them and I need to use them. Alrighty then. Something else that is brand new that is a surface. You know we love our board and base, but did you ever think that we would make a white one? We did. We now have the adorable white board and base. 
which you can do it either way. Oh, so cute. So cute. Um, and these are completely water washable um, to take your chalk off after you, you can do one side, you can do both sides, make it double sided, and then you can wash it off and reuse it. Uh, these are probably one of our most popular services, um, our board and base, because they're only $7.99, $8.99 US, $8.99, super inexpensive, double sided and washable. I highly recommend them for our first time users called the board and base. Good morning, Donna from British, wait, is that right? British Columbia, is that what it is? It just started shooting out of my mouth and then I started thinking, oh, I don't know me, no Canada geography, but I do, it's okay, it'll be all right. Uh, uh, Columbia, I don't, need, uh, I don't even know. Battle Creek, BC is Battle Creek around here. Battle Creek, Michigan. When you say BC, I say Battle Creek. Um, uh, yes, make cups when you go to Vegas. Well, here's the thing. When we go to Mexico, it's like an all-inclusive resort, right? So when they make you a drink, you get these little like eight ounce, no, 12 ounce, um, like cafeteria cup, right? They're plastic. They're for around the pool. And so why not have like, well, ours are a, a little bigger than this, but we make personalized and then we can pour our drinks into our um, thermal insulated cup, have a straw, you know, all the things so that we can really enjoy our pool time at the pool. All right. So we love that. Um... Who wants to get a peek at probably one of the most popular the popular kits, the Lemon Garland I just dropped something. The Lemon Garland Kit. So, first we have adorable ribbon. The little pom-pom ribbon the different colors of green, some rickrack, and some other fabric ribbon that's gonna go on. Of course, we got all of our colors and chalk paste and color trays and whatnot. We have our full color instructions on how to put it together. Gotta have the gorgeous transfer with the lemon pieces. And then, these are so cute. They're made out of the new slim cut cutouts, wooden cutouts, kind of like our simple shapes. So about that thin. Let me get them out. Oh, we've got lemons. We've got some jute. We've got some little baby circles and it's already punched out for you. And that's it. So you make a cute, cute garland. You guys, guess what I did? I went shopping yesterday and I bought stuff to make the most adorable Easter garland. It's not necessarily gonna be a bundle, it's not gonna be a bundle box because I don't really have um, the transfers for it. But I'm gonna show you and you're gonna love it. I know it. All right, let's put this one away. That was our lemon garland. Um, okay. Your order still isn't shipped. So, T Tina, I'm not going to lie. I have two orders. One is the stuff that I'm going to use on my lives. And then the other one is the stuff that I will use for my bundles. And um, so this is like one of everything-ish. And then... Um, the stuff for my bundles hasn't even shipped yet. So, sorry guys. Hi, Amy. You could use popsicle sticks to make the roof. You absolutely could, Carol. You could use any kind of like little wood. You could use shims. They sell the fun little wood shingles for doll houses. You can buy that. I've used that before. Um, the chubby one, Lisa, the chubby house could be a barn. Totally. You could totally make it a barn. 
<gasps> and you did not, Denise, you lost power. Oh, you know what? With the new house that we're in, we have a whole home automatic built-in generator. I highly recommend. It's a Generac whole home generator. We don't even know when the power goes out. Being out in the country and where we live just in general, windy, 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 and, and the power goes out a few times a year. Um, and I'm so excited. That's a really nice upgrade that we didn't have before. Oh, our north of Linda Hogue. Oh, Donna, you're way, yes, you are. Okay, way, way, British Columbia. See, I always, like it sounds right, but when I start to say it, I'm like, that's not right. But it is, it is, good, yay. And I know, I'm like really not that dense. Okay. Hi, Tony from North Texas. Is it warm or is it chilly by you? Northern interior. Okay. Hello, Paula. Yes. Hello, Heidi. Hi, Corinne. From Salton, Washington. My son, Marshall, keeps waving. Hi, Marshall. How are you today? Oh, my goodness. I see Marshall. So that reminds me of romper room. I see Tony and Lori and Marshall. Oh, my second order was shipped and will be here next week. It's the sewing machine transfer. Oh, yay. How do I make the bundles? So basically all I do is I put together a surface, a transfer, um, chalk paste, tools, squeegee, whatever you need. And um, embellishments. So whatever embellishments I use, for example, um, let's say if this was, guys, this was my last night's project. If you may, if I made this a bundle, you would get the surface, the transfer, the embellishments plus the black chalk paste and the squeegee to do it in the stir stick. You get everything in that bundle. That was my last night's project. Okay, let's go look at some of our A size transfers. Chilly, but 80. Chilly today, but 80. Yeah, yeah. 80 on Monday. I want 80 every day. Actually, I want it even warmer that I'm, I'm, if I have to like go watch sports, give me 72 and sunny. Okay. But if I can be sitting by the pool, I want 90. Is that too much to ask? And I know sometimes we're going to get 90 watching sports and 72 at the pool, those are the days I don't go in, that I may need a sweatshirt. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you some fun things. Hi, Carly. It's it's Wine Friday. I know how you feel when I try to remember the state of Britain. Listen, there are 50 states. There are not that many provinces. I got that right. Um, so you'd think I could just remember it. But I do know all the state abbreviations. And I used to know all the states and capitals. I think I still do. It might take me a second, though, because my brain is not as quick as it used to be. Also, once I had to memorize all the presidents in... Actually, I didn't have to. My mom made me. All the presidents in order from the first until the last... Um, but there's been a lot more since I had to memorize them. Um, and I can also rattle off all of the prepositions in alphabetical order because our eighth grade teacher thought it was very important for us to memorize the prepositions so that we, like, if I know anything, 
it's a prepositional phrase because I know all those darn prepositions and also you are not supposed to end a sentence with a preposition. Did you know that? Every time I do, I'm like, I'm not supposed to do that. But when I rearrange it so that I don't end a sentence in a preposition, it sounds all like fancy and like proper. <laughs> so sometimes I leave it and sometimes I don't. My CC order ship today. Yay! Yep, you guys can kind of see my ribbon and stuff over this. I've got ribbon. Um, I even, I have ribbon. I have beads. I have more ribbon and more ribbon and more ribbon. And I have pastes and... Um, I still have some boxes to unpack. We're gonna, we're gonna try to not show you all that. Tina, you had to memorize the prepositions too? I swear. I, 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 I did it, but I didn't understand why. I mean, it doesn't really help me be a better human. I don't know. It just makes me feel guilty when I end a sentence with one. Okay. Where I got my ribbon organizer. Which one? So let me tell you something about organizing ribbons. Okay. The best one is um, this one over here. It is a $7 shoe organizer from Walmart. It has the wire, like three, wire, three metal circles, like dowels, three metal things. I do not run the ribbon through them, although you could, but when you run out, it's really difficult to open it up and take them out. I just place them on the two rungs, so they're just sitting on tap so I can just go over and grab one and take it off and come over here and use it and throw it back on there. $7, maybe $7.99, Walmart. So easy, so easy to put together, so easy to use. Now, I kinda wish they stacked, but most people do not have the ribbon problem that I have, so we'll, we'll just be clear on that. You don't need to see my mess. Okay. Thank you, Carlene. I am squished into the tiniest little space. I had so much more space at my other house, but it's all right. I have a great view. I really don't. I have two beautiful daylight windows that look out into bricks and snow. Um, I can see some sky and trees, but... You know, it's a basement, so it is what it is. Oh, okay. Off the rolls and put them on flat cardboard. Okay, that would work too. I don't have that much time. I would have to make somebody do that for me. Okay, let's look at some of these. Small steps every day. I love it. And that is like a, little, a giant arrow. And it doesn't say anything, it's just like a fun arrow. Small steps every day. That's how you get through life. I'm unable to quilt as I am currently, oh, sorry. It doesn't say quilt. Must be the Moscato kicking in, either that or it's my chicken and waffle chips. I am unable to quit as I am currently too legit. This one, a shout out to all those 80s babies. I'm unable to quit because I'm too, le too legit. Too legit to quit. Mm -mm. Uh, if I could play the song, I wish I could sing the whole thing. Um, this is from our, and I have to open it up. Some of these are just going to be cute. And I have to open it because there's a sticker on it. But it just says time to eat. But I really like it. I really like the, like the fat font. I'm a, I'm a, I am a 
fat font lover because the chalk shows up so much better than with the super tiny, skinny, little itty bitty fonts. You can just see it better. And it has like a tomato on it and it's cute. And I have three like, not I, they call them raised gardens, but they're not, it's not raised. I still need to get on the ground to, to garden. Um, but there's three of them back there. And I thought, ooh, I can, I can grow some tomatoes this year. Um, I'd like to grow all kinds of things. I just don't want to do the work. I don't like to get dirty and I don't like bugs. If it was bugless dirt, I probably would do it. It's a true ribbon prop. I'm a ribbon hoarder. I know. And it's, and you guys, for me, it's like, oh, this is cute ribbon. I'll buy a roll of it. But what if I want to use it as a bundle? I'm going to need more than one roll. So then I have the problem of like some, I have multiple rolls because then I can use it in a bundle and not run out. Um, if you love organ, seriously, I need, I need someone to organize me. Um, it's, it is not a genetic, it's not a gene that I ever inherited that like neat freak, clean freak, organized freak. Not that I like it, but it's just not something that I have to do all the time. How cute is this? I read past my bedtime. I think it's super cute. And I also think it would be cute, like even in a classroom to put in your little reading nook in the kid's bedroom. Um, I am doing a double-sided bundle as soon as I get my stuff in, and I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of what it's gonna be. So, you know, it's gonna be so darn cute. Ah, I can't find the other, I just found my other favorite. There are, there are so many cute, funny, jokey um, transfers, you guys, and I, love it and I have the hiccups apparently too much wine but not really oh I got 99 bobby pins but I can't find one you guys it's more like I have 199 bobby pins and I can't find one takeout is my favorite recipe not gonna lie I had some delicious zucchini noodles from noodles today my pad thai is my favorite Zucchini noodles with grilled chicken, pad thai, <gasps> so good, so yummy. And because I get zucchini noodles, I feel like it's way healthy because I'm not getting regular noodles. Anyway, takeout is my favorite recipe. This plus something else, if I can find it, is going to be the most adorable bundle as soon as I get my stuff in. And then Monday comes along, and no, I don't know which Monday. No, too legit to quit, right? How do I organize my beads? Okay, so this is a work in progress because number one, I can't find all my beads. I don't know where they went, but look at this. So you're gonna, I'll show, okay, work in progress. So a lot, this is a grid wall. It was kind of cheap from Amazon and it's plastic. So that scares me that I might break it. But you could totally just get grid wall from like the hardware store or whatever, our home improvement store. And I have these bins. So like some of them are large, they're clear. Some of them are small, some of them are medium, some of them are round, some of them are square. They're like all the things. So. I have some in here if I have a ton, like my wooden unpainted beads go in there. Um, some of them, I leave them in the container because they have a hangy hook. And so I put hooks on here and I just hang them. And yet others, I think I can pull this out and show you. So I guess this is going to turn into just ask Sarah live. I have these old from when I was a, a big scrapbooker. I still have a lot of scrapbooking, but 
I have these wooden cube, this wooden cube organizer system that I got probably 15 years ago. I'm not going to lie. 10 years ago, 15 years. It's got to be 15 because we were in our, Aaron and I were in our first house together. And I got these cube organizers and some of them are drawers and some of them are open and some of them, um, I have one that's like a glass door. Well, this one has a drawer and inside the drawer has cubes. So I have my, I bought these kits on Amazon, so I have the tassel in one bin. I have all the colored beads that coordinate with the tassel in the next bin, and I have it for like bumblebee colors, pink colors, and then the black and white, um, and they all have a tassel, multiple tassels and the beads. So I'm putting some in here that I know I need to like dump out because they're just in like a plastic bag. Um, eventually, maybe I'll fill that, maybe I won't. Sorry, I'm, I'm climbing over a box, if you didn't know. I figured it out. Okay, so love the takeout. Um, in case of emergency, don't drop the, listen, it's a thing. Some people do it. Some people don't. I'm not saying one way or another if I do it or if I don't, but if you're around me long enough, you'll know. This has to be my favorite. And I feel like it's going to be a special live where I will have a guest chalker because this is the biggest joke in my family. Dad joke loading. Okay, now, my husband thinks he's really funny and he says these corny, cheesy dad jokes and legit not funny. He goes, I know they're funny because I laugh. And I look at him and my 12 year old laughs and I look at my 12 year old and I'm like, why are you encouraging him? He's like, mom, come on. That was funny. I'm like, no, it's not. So we definitely need to make him a t-shirt that says dad joke. Why do they want dinner every single night? So here's your hint. I am doing a super cute double-sided, double-sided um, bundle coming up. Why do they want dinner every single night? Like, that is for me. Because I also don't really cook. Thank God my husband does. Or, I mean, we're not going to starve because we'll figure it out. But, yeah. Um... Here's another one that's like so for me. Um, Heidi, I have spent 22 years being a teacher and I have to have like a sweet mouth and never say bad words and all of that to the point where if I say a bad word, some of my friends look at me and they're like, it's so funny to hear you say a bad word <laughs> because like you don't expect it from you. Um, but there are times when I just feel like I need to say it and it makes me feel better. And so then I do. And then there are times when, you know, I don't. I just take deep breaths. And if you know I'm taking a deep breath, I'm really saying it in my head. <sighs> That's how I say it in my head. Did you like your trip to Texas? When we went to Texas, that was a long time ago, but it was awesome. We loved it there. So you guys, this is me. I'm to totally outdoorsy. I like to drink on patios. I'm outdoorsy if it's got to do with a pool. I go camping because we have, I don't have to go in a lake. I can go in the pool. Uh, this one I can't wait either. Pour yourself a cup of ambition. Dolly Parton. You know that's got to go on a, on a, on a mug. And 
whatever you're thinking, think bigger. Those are two cute little transfers that you can fit on little things. Trust the timing of your life. Sometimes it's hard to do. I know I have a lot of, um, it's the windows. The windows in front of me are giving glare. But that's, a, that's, that's hard to do sometimes. I came, I saw, I forgot what I was doing. It's exactly. The older I get, that's enough of, that's enough todaying for today. That's how I feel right now. Not with you guys, but leading up to why I was 30 minutes late. It's enough todaying for today. <laughs> you know, you know when it's about like eight, nine o'clock and I, I'm like, all right, I'm done working. I go upstairs and my husband's like, he has to look at me and he's going to be like, is she going to sit down and maybe watch a show with me? Or is she going straight to bed? Like, what's her deal? I rarely go straight to bed at like 8, 9 o'clock. But my sitting down and watching a show with him from like 9 to 10 is like my relaxation time. It's my, I'm done today for today. Like, I am, I'm done. I'm turning it off. I'm not answering any more questions on Messenger. Although, y'all know probably I have probably message, answered message from you until 11, 12, midnight. It's crazy. It's crazy that we don't shut it down. Just be yourself. It's all good. For sure. I know. To help you relax. Uh, my kids' friends use chatter, use to scatter and run from the home. Oh, that's awesome, Donna. So, my son. I don't know. You guys... So my son, Easton, number one, he's eight. Number two, he has a personality of like a 35-year-old. And he is so quick-witted that he doesn't skip a beat. I was in our basement packing up stuff with four of my friends. We're all down there packing boxes. Easton comes down and one of my friends said, S-H- the SH word, like it's, it's a word that if you've heard swear words, you probably have heard this word. It's not the worst word, but it's still a bad word. He looks up and goes, oh, my ear, I've never heard a curse word before in my life. Everyone just look at each other and I'm like, Easton. And he's like, What? I'm ruined forever. And I'm like, get upstairs. Like, just go. Just because you know he has. Number one, you know he has heard. Because <laughs> you know he has. Um, if not me, my husband for sure. And But he was so quick to like just do that in front of my friends. Then some of these same friends were driving him somewhere. Driving him somewhere. And I get him and I'm taking him home. And he goes... Um, why don't you swear like those guys do? And I was like, what? And he goes, probably heard the F word like 40 times. And I was like, <laughs> and, and I'm like, really? He goes, well, it was probably only like 10. But seriously, it was more times than dad said it when he hurt his back. I'm like, those are adult words. <laughs> you don't get to say them anymore. I mean, you don't, we don't need to talk about it. Oh, yay, Carlene. Yes. Chips for sure. Oh, oh. Anyway, he's just funny. Um, Here's another one. Mama said there'd be days like this. Mm-hmm. That song just going in my head. Um, This is from... Cheryl Sandberg, and I don't even, I don't even know if I know who that is, but done is better than perfect. How many times, how many times do you stress over something being like perfectly done and so you don't get it done because it's not, it's like, oh, I just can't do it perfectly because I need to have this or this or whatever. Getting it done is way better than having it perfect. And I 
can attest to that, especially down, because this is not my perfect space at all, but we are slowly getting it done. It's not gonna be perfect even when it is done, but at least it will be functional. This is cute. Every summer has a story. This I think would be another cute one if you could for like a big cup. Enjoy the little things. Can't say that enough. Can't say that enough. Um, That crazy little son of a bitch. <laughs> I didn't even notice this one in the catalog. I'm read. It's like I'm reading it for the first time. That crazy little son of a bitch. And it's got shells, like beach. Apparently there are a lot of snarky ones in here. If you are humorous, you're gonna love it. If you're not, go for the other cute things. Graduation, the future is bright. Love, love the little um, sparkles. And above all things, love. And then here comes the sun. Got a little sunshine up there. I love all the summery things. Oh, it's making me want spring and summer so badly. I like all the summer ones. I'm a total summer lover. And that, I've always loved summer. But when you're a teacher, I think you especially love summer. So many more. I don't even know that we have time to do all the rest. Um, does anyone want a chicken and waffles chip? I'm telling you, if you like chicken and waffles, now only if you, only if you would like that flavor. I mean, it's waffles. It's syrup. Um, if you like that flavor, try these. We got them um, at Sam's and they're actually pretty good. Like if you don't want a super salty, snack but you want it crunchy it's not bad and it goes really well with moscato um emotionally attached to fictional characters now i can say that i have read enough books to agree with this saying but it's also true on shows when my shows end i go through a withdrawal period and i mourn them and i'm like i miss i miss I miss David a lot. And it's been years since he went bye-bye. This is our super cute gold diggers minis. I'm a gold digger. Did you know? Not a gold digger, but a goal digger. I like to set goals and achieve them. Purpose fuels passion, girl power. Stay strong and power on. Get it, girl. Behind every successful woman is herself. I like that one. In fact, my coffee mug today said self-made. Um, because I am. And, by the way, I am enough. Mm-hmm. I am strong. I am I am enough. You should, we should say, I am strong, I am fearless, I am enough. Hashtag like a girl, rise up, move over. I got this. So for all of you with the girls, this is a sweet one. And you can plaster this on anything. You can put it on notebooks, on cups, on shirts, you know, anything that you want the little you could give it to the girls and they could just plaster it everywhere never had chicken and waffles so I've never actually eaten chicken and waffles like I've never had that but I've had chicken and I've had waffles and I bet they'd be good together so so we bought the chips the transfer fits with Yellowstone yes it well see and when that's over, then I'm going to mourn all of it. I'll, I'll go through. Vicki Keller loves summer too. Yes. Yes, yes. Oh, Tony, I'm glad you... Okay, okay. So in this house, I have multiple bathrooms. 
and I need to have some little decoration and I am super excited that we have some bathroom decor transfers um, like this one called No Selfies in the Bathroom. Please seat yourself, no selfies in the bathroom. Text me if you need anything. It's always a full moon in here. How cute. So one of my bathrooms is going to be, have a humorous um, like section. Maybe the kids bathroom, I'm not sure. But I already did like our half bath. I already de decorated it because the colors matched something I had done in another one. Um, how about Sunny Vibes minis? Sunny Vibes. 12. Aloha. More trips, please. Sunshine on my mind. Garden. So this row is like gardening. This has got some plants. How lovely the silence of growing things. Chillin' and grillin'. Burger time. Beach life with the crab. Fun stuff. I just did this one last night, Slice a slice of happiness. It looked really good on the distressed um, thing. Oh, blessed beyond measure, you guys. We have a whole kitchen series, a whole um, kitchen collection. And this one, you could use the measuring cups for something. You can use the words, totally different. Here are my fun, fat letters that I love. They're not too skinny. Sometimes that is good. Um, speaking of kitchen, we've got some really, um, these are herbs, fresh herbs, rosemary, oregano, thyme, parsley, and you, they fit perfectly on the jar cutouts, just FYI. So these are called jar cutout herbs. Do you say the H or do you not? I say herbs. Herbs. I usually don't say herbs. I say herbs. Oh, look, I accidentally got two. Um, got to make note of that. Don't give up on your dreams. Keep sleeping. <laughs> this is going to go in my daughter's room because they both love to sleep. Actually, Ryan's starting to love to sleep, too. Restaurant here call here that serves awesome chicken. There are a lot of places that serve chicken and waffles. I just never ordered it. We are, Vicki Keller, we are in our new house. Um, and by new house, like, it's not new. We didn't build it. We were going to build, and a whole lot of stuff went down, and so we didn't. We had to back out of that. Um, but we are in a new house, and it's awesome. It's going to be even awesomer when we, we're going to we're going to put on an addition, an addition. And so we are managing... Because it's better done than perfect, right? We're managing right now. Can you put in a regular oven? If you do cups and ink, do you need to seal it so it won't come off? You only need to heat set it so it won't come off. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you advice. This is real life advice because I have a ton of these and I use them. I have some that are years old that I use all the time, especially in the summer. Now, here's my advice. I called um, a manufacturer or a, a, a company that sells these, and I specifically asked them about heating them again, and they said that the color on the cup is food grade and it is safe. It's not the unsafe um, paint that is used on automotive car parts. They're totally different. It is not safe to bake automotive car paint, the kind that goes in your engine, because that has different chemicals. Okay, now, so that's the number one question that has always been asked. Number two, you bake it at 300, so the colored metal, I have burnt the color when I did it at 350 degrees. So I took it down to 300 and I baked it for 10 more minutes. 40 minutes at 300, you can bake it in your regular oven, let it cool down in there. And here's what it is. It is safe to throw in your dishwasher. 
if you wash it by hand, depending who washes and how they wash, the scrubbing alone can scrub, I guess it could ultimately scrub it off. I never have my design come off, even on my very first ones that I did, because I throw it in the dishwasher. We are lazy dishwashers in this house. We do not like to wash things by hand, nor do we like to have to dry clean or wash clothes by hand. So it is a thing that we check those, like we're like, well, if it gets ruined, it wasn't meant to be because we like to do um, dishwasher washing. Um, hi, Teresa. It is new for you. And yes, so part of our, so if I, sh this literally is so tiny. Like if I show you, this is my wall over here. Like I'm, it's tiny. I'm in a tiny space, like I'm in a tiny box. Um, and this is my basement. And the reason why we downsized from a 4,400 square foot home to a total of 3,000 square feet, which is a great size home. It's, it's nice and big. We have four kids. Um, so technically we need five bedrooms if they all get their own room. But when we downsized, we lost my studio, an office for my husband, and a bonus living area, kids playroom area. Those are the three things we lost and our amazing walk-in pantry. Those are the four things we lost. So we're dealing with the kid space. We just finally let them have a TV in their room and they're fine. We had never ever had, my daughter is gonna be 21 and she has never had a TV in her room ever until last year when she bought one for college, <laughs> um, when, she was, when she was 20. Um, so they have TVs in their rooms, so that's fine. My husband took the smallest bedroom as an office. So my girls who are at college 70% of the year are sharing a bedroom down here in the basement, the basement bedroom. They're sharing a bedroom. So that's another like little sacrifice. It's fine. And I'm the biggest sacrifice. I had 800 square feet for my, my studio. Now I literally have maybe two, 300. I don't know. I didn't even measure it because I don't even want to know. It's tiny. For my office, um, for my assistant desk, which only gets used like once a week, um, and my packaging and shipping station and my live station. So I literally have nowhere for guests to come over and chalk. I can't even hold a chalk night at my house. I don't even have a space to hang up my used transfers. So if I wanted to do something, we'd just go upstairs in the dining room and I would do chalking up there, which is fine. But our addition is going to be, um, a first floor and a second and a basement addition. It'll be about 800 square feet. So I will get back pretty much what I had before. And then the space where I'm in right now will become an extra family room, living room down here in the basement. And then there will be a door, there'll be doors that will enter into my studio. Above that, we're going to do a first floor master bedroom suite and we're going to move the laundry out of the, by the kitchen and into that suite area. And that laundry room is going to become a walk-in pantry. So we got it all figured out. All I have to do is come up with the money, get estimates, get it planned out, sign my life away and get it done. But we got five acres of land and we are seven minutes away from the boys school so we do have to drive them um, because we popped out of the boundary for our school district but it's okay they can still go there by school of choice so we drive them to school and back so we have to do that 
but we got five acres. We do have an outbuilding, which is a second. We have a three car garage plus another garage, which it's called the shop. Aaron's got all of his tools and all of that stuff out there and all the yard equipment and everything. We'll take care of our own yard. We'll mow our own yard. Like we'll do all that. Um, it's, 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 it's super nice. Like we totally upgraded but we downsized. So that's, you know, we just have to get used to this and then we will. It's all good. It's a very nice home. It's very nice. That's all I have to do. <laughs> I know it's all up here. It's all my big plan, right? Um, so yeah, so, okay, so that's a big haul. That's We've spent a lot of time together, and I'm still drinking my wine. I have a lot more to show you, but I don't want to take up that much time because, honestly, well, wait, hold on. I do want to take up five more seconds. I dropped something, and I need to bring it around to show you. All right, so I am sure that you've seen these online. I'm, I can barely step over that stupid box. It's a box for my transfers. Um, we got new colors. There are new on Vogue colors. They're so adorable. So the first new one is Shimmer Rose Gold. It's very shimmery, very pretty. And remember, I always used to make my own. Now I don't have to. We have Sunset Drive. It's so pretty. <laughs> I, like, these are my colors. These are, you know how I'm always like, well, I don't use red because it's too harsh. So I got to, like, mute it. I don't use pink. I have to use Marvelous. Um, This color is totally one of my muted colors. And the next two are also um, Dusky Blue. Um, dusky, not dusty, but dusky, like dusk. Um, it is a darker shade of ocean mist. These are like what I consider like neutral blues. Oh, hold on. You can hardly tell the difference. Maybe I need to put them right together. Now you can see. Ocean Mist Dusky Blue. It's just a darker shade of that neutral blue. Oh, love it. And who doesn't love eucalyptus? Shimmery. So guys, these two look so pretty together. Um, I love all the shimmers. And then finally, Shimmer Orchid. So a nice purpley kind of shimmery. It's a brighter color. but it's very nice. And do you know there are so many people who love purple? I'm not one of them, but like everybody loves purple but me. I just don't say that. So many people, their favorite color is purple. Emma loves purple. Anyway, shimmer orchid. It's pretty. So those are our colors. Um, so all the colors, the fun little transfers I showed you are surfaces. Um, I did show you our yesterday, nope, Wednesday, when my mom, my poor mom, my mom came over. <laughs> She's fine. She's fine. She's been through a lot, let's just say that. Um, um, not Nothing bad, like just, she's on edge, right? Um, so our new wax applicator, super cute. I love it so pretty and um the kits I showed you before so that's it there's there's so many so many things and like a thousand a thousand more transfers like a thousand these are little oh I cannot wait I'm gonna show you guys this one real soon because it's coming before you know it St. Patty's Day will be here before you know it and I have some really cute techniques to show you with that one um we got some Ooh, we got some big kitchen ones. Oh my gosh. 
There are so many. Uh, my daughter could not be more excited than about this. She's like an astrology, like, obsessed girl. And this. Who is not going to love this? I already have like five projects that I could imagine using this on. One of them, I, I can't show you, it's got too much. I bought some special surfaces. We're gonna make some amazing things. So this season, this coming up spring season, you guys, oh, how I just wanna like make this and put it in all the classrooms. It's so cute. That open book is just so adorable. So many things. Hello, spring. Hello, summer. Hello, sunshine. Take your pick. Lots of cool things. All right. Thank you for hanging out and drinking wine with me and eating chicken and waffle chips. I mean, I only had one, but I'm about to have some more. Hi, Katrina. Hi, George Murphy. You're welcome, Casey. Um, the herb transfer in Sage, 100%. Mm -hmm. I actually, we had an old, do I have time to show this? Yes, because I'm the boss. I get to pick the time. We have an old one, and I'm talking really, really old. And do not judge if this is dusty and it shows up in your, don't judge. I put fake little plants in here. I put the little herbs on the glass bottles. And then on my little watering can, it has fresh herbs. And I just used Storm. Like, I just used gray. But I'm ready to refresh it. Ready to refresh. We had an old one a long time ago. There's a little bit smaller. But so many cute ideas with all of the things. Thanks, Margaret. You're welcome. And like I said, I didn't get to share everything but, 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 but. Lots and lots and lots I shared. And we had fun and we joked and we talked. Oh, Debbie Hoover. What a great idea. Um, a very popular transfer was, I had to find it, is our, what's it called? A stitch in time. I think. Oh my gosh, as I'm looking, I'm just like, these are so cute. I'm looking for, oh, the spring gnomes, you guys. They're so cute. I haven't even checked all this stuff in, so. I don't even know. Oh, gosh. I mean, look through here. I know. Don't judge. I buy one of everything when it comes out, and then I don't buy any more for the whole catalog. I just use it all up, and that's how I... Oh, I forgot the celebration minis, you guys. These on our new chalk suede tags. Oh, so cute. So dang cute. Um, the little happy garden time was super cute with the boots. I think that one sold pretty quick. Oh, and the little stick family people is called um, Together We Make a Family. How cute. I was asking for that for a long time. Beautiful things come together one stitch at a time. So... Here's your old fashioned sewing machine, which I have one right upstairs. Cute, so I could totally make this and set it right on my old fashioned sewing machine. It'll be really cute. I have one of those with the treadle underneath the old singer. I don't sew, but I have it because it's cute. I have a lot of like antique -y things mixed into my house. All right. All right, that is it. I'm going to take off. We have lacrosse in just like an hour. What? Oh, man. 
day is going so fast. Tomorrow we have a big wrestling tournament. We have more lacrosse Sunday. Wednesday's wrestling. It's Monday's wrestling. Thursday's wrestling. I love my life. And I love wine. And it's going to be awesome. You guys have a fabulous weekend, okay? I will see you Monday live, 8 p.m., with a new bundle. Okay. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching. And get yourself some chicken and waffle chips, for sure. <laughs>